all the Total War games and their DLCs are at massive discounts at gamesplanet.com downstairs, downstairs. If you click the link in the description, you can get some amazing discounts. Also, City Skylines and the DLCs, because there's a new DLC that's been released, everything's at a massive discount. Go and check that out if you want some really good prices on good games. It's all completely legit, and of course, the game developers get their fair share of the profits, so you don't have to worry about that. So, of course, I've not really done a Bannerlord video in a while. Now you may think that the, like, two or three videos ago I did a Bannerlord video, but honestly, that was quite a few weeks ago now because I haven't really been uploading too much. And I was going to do a normal Bannerlord dev blog video, but I looked at the last two dev blogs that I hadn't made videos on and there was absolutely nothing there, which is most of the time what normally happens, but this was a bit more so. I literally had nothing to say about them. So I thought... Right, okay. I've not done a video talking about the Bannerlord mods in a while. There's been a lot of mods that have been confirmed that are being worked on at the moment and that should be coming out in the first year or so of Bannerlord's release. So I thought I'd go through them in today's video and it might take two parts. There's a lot, there's about, you know, 20 or so mods to go through. So this might take a couple of parts, but I hope you guys enjoy this and you get to see some cool mods and you can maybe even go support them if you want to. So let's get straight into it. First off, we have Monsters from Men. A Witcher's Tale. As you might have guessed from the title, this is about the Witcher franchise. It takes place after the third installment of the Witcher series, taking you to a new land ruled by Elven Empire, never touched by cruelty and discrimination. This is a mod that is going to take you into the fantasy land of the Witcher. Now, it's not really following the things in the books, or I don't even think the games. It's sort of going off in its own thing, so... If that's something that you're very you know, into and that's what you really want to play as, this is probably not the mod for you, but I'm sure there'll be other Witcher mods in the future. But of course, it's set in the same world. Who knows who you're actually playing at at the moment? It boasts in-depth faction, conflict and diplomacy, all new mercenary mechanics, dynamic quest boards in villages and towns for hunting monsters and bandits alike, which I think is going to be amazing. Imagine getting a quest where you have to go and hunt down this monster or this bandit and then you have to kill them and you get a reward from it. I think that'll be absolutely awesome. Of course, like most mods, new weapons and armors, there's going to be in-depth quests, a new magic system and new looting mechanics. All in all, this is going to be a really cool mod. Now, I think I made a standalone video on a Witcher mod for Banlord, but I don't think it was this Witcher mod. I think it was a different one, which we might get into in the second part, but this looks to be very, very hopeful. Now, I know a lot of people complain, why are you making videos on mods that when the Banlord doesn't even exist yet? Well, actually, there are possibilities of starting the mods first. You can do modeling and things like that. And, of course, you can do all the artwork and all that good stuff. So these guys are actually working on these mods at the moment. And I think it's important to sort of make these mods like to you. And, of course, the videos get good views. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, everyone knows that it just... Never mind. Next is Kingdom of Ardar, which is one of the ones that I'm extremely excited for because this is a single-player and a multiplayer total conversion of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord but it brings Tolkien into the game. This includes characters, locations, weapons, etc. from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and the Silmarillion and other works by Tolkien and media made for his universe. So yes, we're going to be taken into Middle-earth and of the like and looking into what things we can get into there. There's going to be a story mode where you're going to be able to play as your favourite characters in scenes from the books and films. So yes, it's going to be following a lot of the books and films as well, but I guess we're going to get a lot of wider lore in it. There's going to be as many as 35 plus new factions in the game, which I don't know if that's going to be that possible, but that's what they're saying at the moment. Custom map locations and custom known lords and characters from Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and other works of Tolkien. New playable races such as Elves, Dwarves, the Dundians, the Orcs, the Hobbits, the Goblins, and the Uruks, of course. And new creatures such as Troll, Ents, Mama Kills, and Wags. And of course, a lot of different things. Maybe we're going to get, even if we have a story mode, some boss battles, like, uh, you know, Nazgul's, or, or even the Balrog, which might be quite interesting, or even and we might be able to just call in the help from the Eagles if it needs be. But this is one of the ones that I'm extremely interested in because not just because it's Mountain Blade, but Lord of the Rings. Although Lord of the Rings mods for Mountain Blade Warband were pretty much some of my favourite things like the Third Age mod and of course Blood in the West, I would say. And definitely Fall of Mordor. That was a good multiplayer mod. Go and watch my videos if you haven't already on that. What a cool mod. What a cool guy. What a cool apple. Furthermore, we're going into something that 
we don't really have much information about, but once again, there's going to be a bit of a repeating theme. This is a Game of Thrones mod, and there's going to be a lot of Game of Thrones mods, a bit like there was for Warband, but this is the first one on the list. This is Winds of Winter. It's an upcoming Game of Thrones modification, of course, for Mountain Blade 2 Battle, based on George R.R. R. Martin's sixth novel, The Winds of Winter. Now, I'm guessing this means it's going to be a bit later on where it's set. There's, there's going to be definitely other mods that are listed that we'll get to in other videos that will be of Game of Thrones as well, but it'll be set in different time periods. So, yes, while we're getting the same world and maybe some of the same characters and the same assets and things, it's going to be all set in different periods, which can, you know, lend itself to a lot of variety and different things throughout the mod as well. Furthermore, we're moving on to something a little bit different. Now, it's... A bit of a weird one, this is a bit of a, a medley mod here. It's called World of Warriors. It's talking about how the millions of years that the Earth has existed, there's been countless civilizations. The biggest of them all have one thing in common, they're warriors. And it's bringing seven different of the biggest civilizations Earth has ever known and putting them on one world map, bringing them together and being able to fight between them. Sort of a for honor type thing, if you will, but of course, not Ubisoft and not shit please don't get triggered. So what are these factions? First off, you're going to have the world of skillful and highly trained samurai, heading enemies with swift strikes and grace. There's also going to be the world of disciplined and organized Roman lines, quickly stabbing the way through flesh, bone, and all that lies behind. I, I didn't come up with, you know, these explanations. I know this is really, really cringy explanation. A world of great medieval knights wearing advanced pieces of armor, wielding the famous European great swords. I mean, they'll probably have other things as well. A world of sand and dust of Egyptian warriors riding on their camels, obeying their Fargo, Fargo, Fargo? You mean, I think it m means pharaohs, but it says Fargo. Anyway, an ancient and hidden world known by the Incas and other Indian tribes, masters in herbs, poison and ambushes, and led by their gigantic elephants. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to destroy some Roman legionnaires with herbs. That's just my plan. And a world of water, of Vikings, longboats, and long splitting axes and barbarian tribe. And a world that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Where's the seven? And also, can I just say, um, not being patriotic and a bit predisposed here, but where's the world of the British Empire? You know, you know, it's only the biggest empire the world has ever seen. I mean, we we did have a lot of money, and maybe it might not be down to warriors. It might have been down to money and wealth and bribery um, and uh, concentration camps. But but we still were pretty successful. So. Come on, mod author. Come on, where's the British Empire? Where's George and his musket? Come on. Come on. Pack it. Pack it. Now, let's quickly move on to the last one of the video today. This is the Way of the Sword. Now, the Way of the Sword, as you might guess, is a very Japanese-themed battle lord mod. Think Gekko Kuju style thing. It's based more historically accurate rather than a lot of these fantasy ones and sort of medley ones that we've seen here on the list so far. The Way of the Sword is a Japanese-themed based battle lord mod. You start as a small clan and you have to use politics, intrigue, and pure force to destroy your enemies. You customize your weapons and armor to look like the devil. Okay, some of these mod descriptions are absolutely weird. The, th these are really weird. Fighting larger battles than you've ever done before using tactics, deployment, and ambushing to stop your foes. Now, that's one thing in Banlord that I actually... Uh, this is completely unrelated to mods. Banlord is going to have some sort of ambushing mechanic, which I absolutely can't wait to use. I hope it's going to be more of a Total War style where you get better positioning and things like that. Or maybe it's even going to be even more real time than that, but who knows. But just the fact that Banlon has this ambushing mechanic is going to be absolutely awesome. But not only can you be an absolutely madman with a samurai sword, but you can also become a ninja in stealth and sneak up upon your enemies. I don't know how they're going to do stealth in this, but less that is what they're saying. Fight on the water, challenge people to jewels, and master long forgotten techniques. You can master the way of the sword, you can become a samurai, you can become a hero. Now, cringy and as Hollywood as that may be, this is a cool samurai mod, and I love the sort of Gekko Kuju style mods. They are absolutely awesome. They're a lot of fun to play with, and I'm hoping that there's going to be doing some similar stuff when it comes to the battle. Now quickly I'm just going to add this other one because it's another Game of Thrones mod but just as you're giving an example, 
This is another Game of Thrones that will be in Banlord, but it's set in a different time. This is called Storm of Swords. Join the ranks as one of the many lord or kings in the world of Westeros, become an outlaw and prey on those weaker than yourselves, or try to raise yourself to the status of lord, or maybe even perhaps someday a king. Storm of Swords will allow you to live in the world of Game of Thrones, and you'll, and you'll be able to visit notable locations and factions and things from the shows, and meet important and influential characters. So I see this one is more based around the TV shows themselves rather than the books, which is going to have a whole different dynamic to the previous mod that we looked at. But that's pretty much it for the mods that I'm going to be showing in today's video. There will be various parts depending on how many more mods are confirmed, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment down below which mod are you most looking forward to, what mods would you like to see, and hopefully they'll be in the other parts but thank you guys for watching make sure you go and check my patreon if you haven't i know it sounds baggy at the moment but you know what else am i supposed to do thank you guys for watching and until then i'll see you in the next one